thoroughly screening personnel qualified for executive positions within the county. If not, what do you plan to do? This is a system of time for me. I put it in the paper. I'm going to tell you a small story. Seven years ago, the county let go some of their employees. My stepmom was one of them, Dorothy Marshall. They, they told her in June, I think June 2nd, that she had no job at the end of the month. So they let all those employees go. Three months later, she found out she had pancreatic cancer. Four months later, she died. During that process, she was asking me to find out ways that she could get a job back and try to uh, see if somebody else had got cut instead of her. I, I went to discovery employees that made $104,000 a year. That supervised one person with a high school diploma. I looked and I see a person making $110,000 a year and a high school diploma. I, I saw another person making $107,000 a year. Real money with a high school diploma. Not the, not the high school diploma, but when you get a vehicle allowance on top of that for $600,000 a month, you know, it, it, it's a problem. And so it, 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 it goes deep in I'm not saying we're going to go through fire everybody, but, you know, something's got to be done. Uh, you know, that's just the honest truth. I cannot, a good conscience, sit here or sit on any commission and know somebody's making money like that and are not qualified and only been in position four or five years. That's just the honest truth. I would like to balance the scale. Somebody works the rest of the commissioners. Uh, but I don't feel a person like that should be in charge or definitely should be making $104,000 a year. And your response? 